Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven and welcome back to the final birthday discount thrift with me. We went shopping at three different Goodwills to see what we could find for a good deal since they did give me a birthday discount. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and continue shopping. This is part four. If you missed any of the others, I will link them below. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are the first to know when the thrift haul videos of everything I bought thrifting at all of these Goodwills go up later on this week. So I'll talk about what I paid for the items, what I'm keeping, and what I'm reselling online in my Etsy shop and eBay, and how much I think it's worth. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely subscribe, and let's go ahead and get shopping and see what else was in the store today. This here is one of my best finds of the day. This is a slice of life plate, and these sell for really good money. Definitely be on the lookout for these. If you are a reseller, you definitely can make a good profit on them, and they only had it priced at $3. I found this absolutely beautiful metal trivet. It says, God bless this house and all who go in and out, and I love the colors to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. They were only asking a dollar, and yeah, that was a great deal. This little kitty cat tin was adorable. I love that it was in coupon tin. Did you see that on the top? It says coupons. I don't see those too often. I think I've seen it maybe one other time, not necessarily in that pattern, but that was really nice. I feel like coupons probably were a little more prominent in the 70s and 80s. That looked to be about a 1980s tin to me. And then, you know, of course there was extreme couponing, which was super popular about, oh, about eight years ago now, right? I was into that. <laughs> Let me know below if you guys get into the extreme coupon craze. I used to have quite the stockpile of various things that I could get for free or near free, and it was super fun. The access, you know, availability of getting coupons like I was able to back then is not as easy because I used to have a recycling center and we could just kind of easily like lean over and grab it. But now they went to those huge bins like dumpster bins and I'm not dumpster diving. So I don't really do it too much. I do still coupon. I'll print off some online coupons or, you know, use coupons if I find them. But yeah, I'm not doing the extreme couponing thing anymore. I did get a little bit harder once it got popular to get the good deals. They weren't giving as way, you know, giving away as many things as they were before. You couldn't work the system like, <laughs> you know, you were able to. I was expecting to find a lot of vintage items this year at the thrift store because I had such a good experience doing so last year. I found all kinds of left in angels and some blow molds and things like that, but I just could not find anything this year really that was super great. I found a few things, mostly ornaments that were vintage, but didn't find any of the really good knickknacks or blow molds or anything like that that I do like to pick up so but nonetheless I kept looking for it <laughs> I did find these adorable vintage gift bags and I was trying to figure out how to show you guys what they look like I couldn't find the angle every time I turned it around it was still upside down <laughs> I finally figured out if I just bent my wrist the other way you could see it so I did pick those up they were super cheap that little handmade ribbon tree is actually super cute. I didn't see that or notice that when I was in the store. I did think this little monkey playing peekaboo <laughs> was kind of cute. He was marked $2 and it was just a cute little paperweight or knickknack. They had this set of beautiful redware candlesticks. I love that they had the blue accent on it. And one of them had one of those fake light up candles in the top so I... I assume you can use them for regular candles. I just, I don't know. I don't think they came that way. I just think someone had stuck one in there, but it was super cute. I liked the way that looked. I haven't seen one of these toy grab bags in quite some time. I was happy to find it. I always like to pick these up because having little ones, it's difficult to get, you know, the basic housework done when you just need like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to just be able to focus. You can hand them one of those and... It works out very well, so anytime I see them for just super cheap, it distracts them and keeps them happy so I can get the dishes done or throw a load of laundry in or things like that, so I definitely pick those up. They enjoy them. My husband noticed that there was an Imaginex Batman inside that my kids do not have, so that was a bonus in there. Definitely always fun when you can find the toys they actually do play with, right? I found this set of crayons and I, I mean, it looks vintage. I'm not sure the age of it, but it always amazes me how 
old crayons last. I had, I did pick it up. I have not opened it up yet to see the condition of them, but it felt very heavy and full, like they were intact. So I'm amazed, like I said, that they lasted that long. They weren't broken and things like that. I mean, they potentially could be, but I'll have to open that and see how they are. But I mean, the packaging alone, I just really love vintage advertisement, so. I really liked this sleigh I found. It's a wooden sleigh and it has wooden reindeer in the front of it. Isn't that super cute? It looks handmade to me. I just thought it was the most adorable thing. <gasps> what? You won't believe what I just found. How funny. <laughs> I'm not leaving that. So it's super rare to find anything Cleveland Browns in my state. It's, you know, I'm in New England territory. So when I saw that, I was pretty surprised. We are Cleveland Browns fans in my family. So I was very happy when I found that. I love it when it's in the package. It's so great. I was super excited to see what was inside, hoping it was still in good condition. And sure enough, it was. So you can see it is a Christmas candle but it's tulip shaped there on the top absolutely beautiful how adorable is this halloween basket i thought it was so sweet i love that the ghosts are peeking around the corner on both sides it was pretty inexpensive at two dollars i found mary and joseph i believe these will go with my two camels that i purchased about a month ago i don't know why at the time they had the three wise men with them and i was just like drawn to the camel so i only got the camels didn't get the wise men and I didn't dawn on me I could maybe potentially find Mary Joseph and Jesus at another time. They didn't have baby Jesus. I feel like every time I find a nativity set, more often than not, baby Jesus is always missing and I have no idea why. Do you guys come across that too? This was kind of a neat piece. I think it's supposed to hold a pen. I think it's for a desk. And yeah, you don't see the little golf memorabilia like that too often, so I thought that was kind of cute. This here is like a 1970s fun little sign, super adorable. I saw this welcome sign on the bottom shelf and I got excited because I was like, oh, I can send this to my friend Renee over at Paper Moose. I thought she would enjoy it, but the antlers were busted up on the top and I didn't really want to send her something damaged. She probably still would have liked it, but I don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to get her something that was damaged like that. This was really beautiful. I love the hand-painted bird and birdhouse on it. I believe it's a magazine rack. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. <laughs> but there was a crack, as you can see, on the side there, and I just wasn't sure how long it would last. And, I mean, for my own personal use, it wouldn't have really bothered me, but I think I would have picked it up for resale, and I just didn't really want to get it with a crack in it there. I like to check out the baseball cap section to find hats to resell or we keep them ourselves. Me and my husband both frequently wear them, but I often do find them with sweat stains or various stains on them, so I don't tend to mess with that too much. I think they're a little difficult to get out, at least for me. And 
I just feel that in my area, we usually have a lot of New England stuff, and I guess there's probably fans throughout the country, so I do try to find that and resell those items, but I don't really find a whole lot in my area because we are so far north. I did think this Tweety Bird hat would be a good reseller. It's a Six Flags hat. I think it's more on the vintage side. It seemed to be older, but there was a stain in the front of the cap on the inside. I don't think you could see it there, but it was a big black stain around the rim. I'm not quite sure what it was. One of my favorite sections, of course, is to look through the cookbooks. I'm always looking for the submitted recipe ones or vintage cookbooks in particular, or anything that just seems a little bit unusual as well. So I always glance through. More often than not, I keep them, but I have been looking recently to find ones that would potentially be good to resell on eBay or Etsy even so. But like I said, I collect cookbooks and one of my New Year resolutions is to actually use my cookbooks exclusively. I'm just as guilty as a lot of people these days and I'll just look for a recipe real quick online because I'm in a hurry and a rush, but I really want to be intentional this year and only use recipes for my cookbooks. So that is one of my New Year's goals. Me and my husband purchased a record player last year. We've had it about a year now. And we've accumulated quite a bit of vinyls since then via thrift store and yard sales. But it's always fun to look through them. You never, you know, you can't really find the music that are on these old vinyls anymore. They're not as readily available. So it's always interesting to see. We really like to get the ones that are like live compilations or Christmas kid type records. They're just kind of fun. The kids enjoy listening to them. When we were Christmas shopping this year, we saw at, a couple of the stores that they're making newer records like this and vinyl and that was kind of fun to see that it's becoming popular again and I mean they were pretty expensive I think they were about $20 a piece for the new ones I mean I'm sure that's reasonable that's what the CDs always used to cost you know growing up so it's totally fine but I think people just really like the sound that the vinyl gives. You can't quite get the same sound through an mp3 or digital file, right? <laughs> this was the last store of the day. I had a full day of thrifting. I did have a little bit more time before the store closed to look at the purses, some clothing, mostly the vintage clothing is what I like to look at, or sometimes the kids clothing if we have a need for it. And I also looked at some of the linen, so we'll go ahead and check it out and see what they had. This purse here was super cute. I thought it seemed to be on the older side. I love the way the closure was to it. Most of their purses they have priced at five or six dollars. If it is a name brand, they you know are pretty much aware of what is worth what, so they will put like ten or sometimes twenty even I've seen. Or you know we have this one here that's all torn up, <laughs> which I have no idea why they would have put out, but that one's there too, available for like five or six dollars. <laughs> I really like this wool. I guess it's like a wool style one. I thought it was really pretty. Uh, is it Vera Bradley maybe or Vera Wang? I don't know. <laughs> I can't quite see the label on it, but I really thought that one was quite nice. I tend to be drawn to the ones that are more homemade. I don't know why. It was just a little bit more unique to me, and I just think they're fine. I like more of the tote style bags, so that's usually what I'm drawn to. I don't really like the ones that just kind of look generic and like everything else, regardless if they are brand named or not. I just really think color is fun. I'm not the type of person that swaps my bag out too often. I might do it like seasonally. I might do it, you know, oh, maybe the, like basically from summer to winter. I like do a fall winter one and maybe a spring summer one. And then I'll have a bigger tote that I bring for like a diaper bag, just like things that I need for my kids. So I usually just have about maybe six or so that I use in total, even though I have more than that. And there's just a bunch I don't use that I really need to start decluttering and letting go. But yeah, <laughs> when I see the $20 price tag and it looks like this, I know it's Vera Bradley, right? <laughs> like I said, they definitely know what the price points are for the higher end things and they're pretty good about, you know, checking the labels. It's hard for me to see the labels a lot. I'm like trying to sift around and eventually I found it labeled inside there. <laughs> But it's really hard to look through and find the labels with one hand while you're filming. But yeah, I thought they had some pretty good purses here today. Some nice bags. And they always have a really nice selection at this store, I feel like. There's probably a lot of money to be made. 
But unless something is super obvious and super high end, I tend to just get what I personally am drawn to. So that way, if it doesn't sell, I'm happy to keep it and I can just use it myself. I was happy to find this basket filled with vintage, handmade, mostly linens. Very cute. I love to pick these up, especially when I can get a good deal on them. They had quite a few. It was pretty surprising. I'm assuming they probably came from the same home. Someone probably made these at one point and then donated them. I don't know the circumstances behind it. It's a little sad to think about. But yeah, I thought they were super cute. This one with the little ducks on it was precious. And yeah, so go ahead and look through those there while I'm sifting through them. I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure you are subscribed. Like I said, all of the thrift hauls from this shopping trip, this whole shopping day, will be out throughout this week. So stay tuned for those. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.